Terminal velocity for a human is assumed to be 120 miles an hour, but Lindy wants to find out if that was her speed. She's not willing to jump out of a plane again, so instead she's travelled to a wind tunnel. By blasting her with wind, Andrew Keenor can calculate the sort of speed she might have been falling at. She's going to take up different positions, but first is head first. The wind is switched on, and Andrew Keenor gathers the results. How did that feel then? Uh, windy. Oh. Okay, so take up your starship position. I can uh, run the wind up again. Okay, okay. okay. The wind is switched on again. Yeah, this time Lindy can really feel the wind and it's a struggle to stand up. And next, Lindy takes the position that Dr. Rosemary Morton worked out she was probably in when she fell. Curled up in a ball. Right. So is Lindy's terminal velocity 120 miles an hour? We can show the effect of you being in different positions on the drag and uh, what your terminal velocity would have been. The head first test, which as we might have expected, give the lowest drag, and that would have given you a terminal velocity of, sort of between sort of 315 and 320 miles an hour. So that's going fairly fast. Mm -hmm. Fairly fast? It's nearly three times faster than the average speed of a free-falling skydiver. Now with the star position, which is the opposite, the drag is considerably higher, I mean, nine times higher, and your final velocity there would have been 106, 107 miles an hour. Yeah, you could really feel that in the wind tunnel yeah. as well. It's beginning to emerge that how Lindy fell could have radically altered the speed of impact. So what's the speed for the ball shape Lindy was in when she fell? In the ball position, which is the position you think you were in when sort of you had your parachute failure, your terminal velocity is around about 140 miles an hour. So the ball position would not have slowed Lindy down. It cannot be the explanation for her survival. But Andrew has one more calculation to make. The effect on her speed of the tangled mess of parachutes above her head. We can assume a ball shape that has a certain drag factor associated with it. Yeah and we can make an attempt to add that onto the data we have here. So if we take a value of a, a ball half a metre in diameter, which right. is probably the, as small as it's likely to get, that gives a terminal velocity of 75 miles an hour. And now if we maybe say the parachute ball is a metre in diameter, which is probably at the other extreme of what it might be, that gives you a terminal velocity of 43 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. So this probably means that you hit the ground somewhere between 40 and 70 miles an hour, I would guess, which is very fast. I wouldn't like to hit a wall at that speed. Wow. I don't think I'm going to experiment with uh, hitting anything at 40 miles an hour again. Oh, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're well padded. So Lindy's weight and the amount of drag from her ball shape and the trailing canopy had a big effect on the speed that she fell. Someone heavier and it would have been a very different story.